In this video, we are going to understand the different types of power apps variables and which variable takes the precedence over the other. The variables are context variable, global variable and collections. On my screen, you see the Microsoft Docs page. If we go further down, we will see the scope of the variables. You see here, global variables is scope is defined as app, context variables as a screen and collections as app, which means global variables can used throughout the app, context variable only on the screen on which it is defined and collections can again be used throughout the app. We will also learn about the disambiguation operator which can be used to explicitly define a table. So let's dig in and see how it can be done. On the Power Apps screen, click on Canvas app from blank, give a name, learning variables, click on create. Now let's start with inserting a text input. This will act as a input for the first option, then add a label. I am trying to create a row similar to an Excel and will show you how you can use the variables further with this example. So remove the default text. Okay, now add another label and make it equal to Now add another label to display the results of this addition. Okay. Now let me add text input one. Plus text input two you will see the result will get instantly displayed. Suppose if I write 2 plus 3 here, you see the result is displayed as 5. Right? Now let's see how we can store this value. Suppose add a button here. Give this name as add. And on select, let's do a global variable so set is the function name for defining a global variable so as you see here the intelligence is giving the syntax set brackets variable name comma value right let's give a name for this variable as addition okay and set its value to display this value so this was label 3 all right so on clicking this button, it will set the value of addition variable to addition plus label 3. Assume that the addition initial value is 0, right? So we need a label to display that value of the variable. Okay. 
now if we press the alt button and click this you will see the values displayed here as 5 now again if we click here you will see value as 10 why because we are add, adding the addition value of the variable to label 3 so existing value is 10 now if i press it again it will be 10 plus 5 which will be 15 right so this is uh, one way of defining the global variable now let's see what is context variable well, let's add another button rename this as context the above one name it as global all right so clicking on context we have to update the context variable so this is the function for context variable update context and the context so context let's define as add all right all right now let's add another label to display the context value yeah now press the all button you will see the context value as 5 all right so what it is doing is it is adding the label 3 dot text to the context okay now you can also see the variables from here so as you see the add is a context variable and it's linked to screen one and global variable is addition which can be used throughout the app right now let's see what is collection let's add another button name it as collection now on select of this we will use collect function and the collection name let it be collect example and the item name label 3 dot text all right so press the alt button and click on collection then go and view the collections you will see value as 5 and the collection name as collect x or collect example which we gave so this collection can be used throughout the app so it it is it can be stored in the format of a table like multiple columns can be stored so this is just a simple example it's it can be further enhanced and used throughout the app as a table right it's basically used in uh, checking the data records for patching purpose for uh, storing temporary values like in those scenarios now let's see what is what if uh, we press this button again we press this button three times now so you will see the records three are stored here in this collect text table right why because it's not clearing that table it's only collecting it so there is another function called clear collect yeah now let me remove this now if we press this button you will see that this table got cleared and the final value again is got saved now, if we press this button multiple times also only this 5 will be here now let's see if we can use the context variable and the global variable on another screen 
let's insert another screen okay now let's have a label here so our global variable name was addition and context variable name was add So we see the value of addition, which is global variable is displayed here as 15, right? Let's add another label and try to see if add is there. If we click this, we will not see the value. This is just a built-in icon. So the other variable, which is context variable can only be used on a screen one whereas global variables can be used throughout the app in any number of screens. Hope you got the difference between that. Now let's insert a data table. Once you add that data table, you will see the collection name here, which we define. So it acts as a table. Once we select this and add the fields, You will see the value here so this acts as a table the collection now let's see what is this ambiguation operator also we will see how to navigate from one screen to another so this button suppose we write a function as navigate we will get the screen option here okay so let's name it as navigate to a screen 2 right once we press this we will move to screen 2 Now let's see what is this ambiguation operator. We give the same name for the contextual variable and the global variable. What will happen? So suppose if I press the context variable and the global variable, you see the same values. Why? Because I have given same name as the global variable and the context variable here you see addition of 5 so 0 plus 5 displays 5 in both the uh, variable uh, display let's preview this app and see 100 okay now if i press global variable it doesn't display but when i click context variable you will see the same value this is to show that context variable takes the precedence over the global variable on that particular screen on which it is defined. Okay. So whatever the value of context variable is will get set here in the global variable. Now suppose if we want to display only the value of global variable we have to use a operator known as disambiguation operator so we have to use it like this okay now it will always display zero so let's do this Okay. Now if you see what I am doing is I am adding value of 
n to the same variable but i am referencing it as a disambiguation operator so whatever the value of global variable is it will add a value of 10 there okay now it's 20 it will turn 30 like that so hope you guys understand the differences between all the variable types how to navigate to the other screen and what is the disambiguation operator and how to use it hope this helps you in your projects and creating your apps happy learning and see ya